Hello everyone, uh, it is Terra Mystica time here. We've got another all-player commentary for you, bringing the new map on Board Game Arena, The Fjords, one of our favorites. Uh, say hello, guys. Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey, everybody. Yep, hey, everybody. Um, so, yeah, uh, we've got uh, Rainier, Mike Chike, and CS Jr. as usual. Uh, we are playing training mode for now. There's a possibility that we've got a couple bugs here and there, so I just wanted it to make sure we don't have any hard feelings, not that we might anyway, if something goes wrong. Um, and... We are all relatively experienced with Fjords, actually, um, and because we have played in some tournaments organized through Snellman Ladders, or the Snell, uh, Board Game Geek forums and on Snellman. Uh, if any of you want to explain how you felt those have prepared us for this game better. Uh, just a decent number of high-level games, especially at Fjords League. I did a decent bit of playtesting prior to that, too, on this map. Um... So, yeah, it was fun. Um, I really actually like this map a lot, which we'll cover, but yeah. Yeah, um, it's a good map. Uh, it's definitely either my favorite or second favorite after base map. Um, there's a big deal on this map, and I've spectated some early board game arena games, where people don't seem to prioritize the connection uh, in the center waterway, uh, the center fjord, if you will. And I think people really need to prioritize that in order to make sure they have good Fjords games. Yep, absolutely agreed. Uh, so oh, with that man. said... I just realized that, you know, with no time we can't enforce Ryan taking forever to pick a faction here. Well, yeah, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll do it verbally after we finish off this intro. This is also fairer for the intro. Yeah, true. Um, so Ryan, I guess this time we'll have you start thinking about your pick, but I'll, I'll break down the setup here. Um, in the past tiles, we've got, uh, all four scoring bonuses. We're missing the spade. We're missing the six coins and we are missing the worker power. Uh, so a fairly diverse things, uh, uh, mix of bonus tiles dropped along with high scoring. And on the track, we've got what looks to be a lower scoring track with, Temple Dwelling, Big Building, ending our game. Uh, spades in round three, not super high scoring. Trading Post, Trading Post, not high scoring. So we have this discrepancy between the scoring track and the pass tiles, where the track is low, but the pass tiles are high. Um, on the map, my experience, and y'all can chime in if you disagree with this, is that blue and brown are actually relatively weak in terms of map space. Whereas the other five colors all seem to do fine with green being notably good. Um, any disagreement with that? Uh, that sounds about right. That sounds yeah, right. We, we did I a think, 14 I faction think, series, and it seemed like from that that but brown was generally weaker. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, the blue is particularly mermaid struggle because they really don't have a lot of ways that they can utilize their one ship into any advantage early. I think it's fine for Swarm Blades, though. Okay, that's fair. Um, with yeah, Mermaids, my success, I think, had a lot to do with having temp ship in the game and starting at E4. I have the indexes up, I hope. Uh, that doesn't bother anyone. E4 and G6, you can probably do some good stuff with an early double dig. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of tough, yeah. I, I, one of the great things is like uh, yeah I don't think this map is actually that bad for any faction I think the worst faction on Fjords is probably better than the worst faction on any other map um, so yeah anyhow as for this specific game there's a lot I could pick actually uh, there's nothing that's really like screaming out to me that it seems great here um, and I don't actually know how much I've seen Giants on this map, so I'm going. I'm going Giants first seat. Here. Uh, you see, I played a Giants game this morning against Halley. A second place, one town seems to be the thing on the fjords. Let me tell you, <laughs> one town means you did a bad job connecting <laughs> through the middle or something. That's how uh, I feel. No, we'll no, find no, out. Just, I needed a. I needed to get a bridge town, and I didn't get it. We'll see if um, the round three digs can do anything for Halfling. And there's no spade in the game, so we'll see how this goes. So, you know, it's a new map, new possibilities. You can get creative. 
Well, the one thing we need more of. Oh god. It's Alchemists. Oh my god. Alchemists are um are recently shown to be potentially amazing on fjords. Um, yeah. It will be interesting uh -huh. to see how they deal with the poor track and good past Poor tiles. track, good coins, and the round score, or the round cults. So, not convinced it's amazing here, but we need more alchemists. So. <laughs> I mean, so partly, as I said before, I don't think anything's amazing here. And then on top of it, <laughs> with what's been put in thus far, we've not been putting any like top tier faction. Like right. half leads, half leads are tough on this map, in my opinion, because it's really tough to get your worker economy rolling in order to actually like leverage your digging. But yeah. we'll and see what happens. I think temp ship is going to play a big role in this game, um, at least in the open. Um, we'll see how much that gets contested. Um, typically, we would see witches in this position. It's a fine collar wheel for them. But this actually, given that giants, halflings, and alchemists are all spending priests on not cults, uh, and in giants position, just not getting priests early at all, uh, this seems like a very good time to try Orin. Oh, you mean giants aren't opening temple? <laughs> Never know. Probably not, but yeah, I agree. I think this is a great time to try Aura. This is yeah, uh, not... Sure. These are not the factions I have great experience with on Fjords. Um, this is not the top tier at all, or even the mid-tier. Uh, right. So this is very this is interesting. Well, how can be top tier? We, the, uh, we, have uh, a lot, we have lots of testing to do with them. I do. I think Alchemists are quite good. Uh, but yeah, Halflings, I think, are one of the worst factions on this map. I think Orin are okay. On the uh, other hand, I think it's actually a fine setup for halflings to do decently well, and they have that internal scoring. Uh, there's no spade tile. Like, it can't be yeah. that bad. Round no, I agree. Stronghold. I agree. It can't be. <laughs> yeah, yes, round six struggle. <laughs> but there's no driller, Mike. There's no driller. Yeah. Can't have it all. Oh, yeah. This actually is. Yeah, we, we don't have that much. Act, um, as Ryan said, we don't have much experience with this uh, these factions in the auction, so... Yeah, it's tough. Most of, uh, most of our experience on Fjords is, like, picking an order, um, and yeah. you would not typically get these factions, or in this order. <laughs> Mike bids Orin down to 25 immediately. I don't think he's that red. <laughs> Andrew just jumps it to 22. It is. It is. Uh, I don't... I don't think it's crazy to suggest Orin are the best, but yikes. Yeah, but by how much? I, yeah, I was going to say, that might already be too much. I'm not sure. We all know that I uh, like to speed it up. On the other hand, like, what's the second best faction here? Also, it's Giants um, or Alchemists for me. Really? I think it might be Halflings, even with Brown oh, sucking on this yeah. map. Nice. I, uh, so one thing that I've noticed or I just heard people talk about and when you look at the map you kind of see it that like I think whoever increases shipping faster between Alchemists and Halflings is probably going to do a little better and I think that's going to go to Alchemists so I don't know I don't know where Halflings are going to be able to expand here that's a fair point and given that I can't decide among the other <laughs> factions I must go with the leader Oops. <laughs> oops. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if the right point's better. <laughs> no, my oops. My oops is that I accidentally closed out the window after making that bid. <laughs> We're back. We're back. All right. Andrew, you're going to go with Giants there. I think you bring up a good point about brown and black. Like, we're not used to brown and black fighting for space because we play on base maps so much and other maps where it just doesn't happen as much naturally. But Color Neighbors. I don't know this color matchup too well on fjords, and they're definitely yeah. Pretty... Why, to me, it's just giants are safer. They they have no color neighbor. Nobody trying to take the reds, so they should get the reds when they want them. Red is well positioned uh, well, on this map, yeah. I would say. Red red is pretty well positioned. Now, the scary part is that halflings and alchemists will increase digging sooner or later. Yep. Um. So. That's not going to be great for them, but they should be able to secure most of their red by then. Yeah, and I think Orin 
just based on uh, having no direct color neighbor here, a good map to start with, uh, having cold <laughs> presence just keeps them going high here. Yeah, I think there's a lot to like about Orin's camp still. Yeah. Even if they don't have the witchy stronghold, which makes them so, which is why witches are so good on this map, I think they're fine. Right. Typically, we see green factions connect on I six between uh, a bunch of stuff in the center and east, and then stuff on the south island. Um, so I six not likely to be under siege until both halflings and well, I shouldn't say this. Like all three other factions can put. The pressure on that's so that's what's really tough yeah. about Orin here is exactly like that's why witches tend to be so strong because you could just make a stronghold and secure i6 and then you still have your connection secure that's why Orin have a like the expansion is going to be great for Orin. the connection is going to be the tough part um so i mean the other option is can you like can we can you play an Orin game here of just ignoring network i mean between alchemist and giants you expect decent networks anyhow so but the question is, how much do you want to pay to just punt network? Right. Um, are alchemists equipped enough to uh, do their giant shipping strats? Or unintentional use of the word giant there. Um, but we've seen them in the Snellman games advance ship to three and just sweep up all the stuff in this G8, I8, E10, A10, C5, A6 zone. Um, are they equipped well enough to do that here against halflings? Well, I have no clue. I think so. I hope so. Because I want, I want alchemists. Y'all gotta hop off. I was supposed to get them for free. You bid, was so you, 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 you bid too fast. Like, I honestly don't think giants are even six points better than halflings. So, like, I'm never back on giants. Like, um, oh, I think giants are easily six points better than halflings. Oh. So, well, I, I, will, that... I would gladly take giants here. Oh, well, fair enough. It's a lot of information you're given. I mean, that's the we point of these videos, Mike. Yeah. So I think halflings. Uh, I think halflings are pretty reasonable here. Um, I can't talk. I think <laughs> so can. too. I'm just gonna pick them here. Yeah, like I, I, I still think Lumen's uh, not that crazy. No, getting yeah, enough. Yeah. I do agree I that the toughest part for the first time in forever. Toughest, toughest part for halflings is gonna just be getting the worker mm -hmm. economy rolling. Like I said, I think that's what I'm concerned yeah. about, but. I'll try out some just, stuff. I, was, I mean, at the same time, like I think you're just getting double dig. I don't think anybody cares about it in round one besides Halflands. Well, so, like, how will want it. Are in you, right? Like it, maybe, but do I? We both know you don't open stronghold. Don't try and fool us. So, but why do I? Okay, so I, I mean, I'll be honest, like I, I'm forced to see it. like I'm just taking temp ship, and I don't need double dig. I just build on the hexes all right like, so uh i need to bring up something from chat this is now the second time i've seen it uh cricks a few minutes ago said ah yes time for the weekly three experts in cs junior game and then nerd cube just dropped in and mm -hmm. said since cs dropped below 500 i can't claim all expert player commentary anymore it's just all player but we need to bring up the important fact that <laughs> uh ryan is not expert either for yeah i reason. agree for now yeah I agree. I'm not an expert currently either, guys. So, like, look, we are just defrauded you. Yep. Um, I'm a little surprised Giants went to D6. I would have expected them to go south center island first. D6 is incredibly surprising to me, too. I, I did not anticipate that. And it's... You're not inviting... Green's not going to join you there. I don't know what you're thinking. It's okay. This, this is yours, fine. I think um, this is okay. So one thing I I've, I've thought about for myself on this map for Brown is that you need to take some risks in the opening. So I'm mm. going to start Are H4. You? Oh, wow. That's uh, quite risky. Yeah, Ghostly, we're in training mode uh, partially or mostly due to the fact that there are potential bugs on this map and uh, it makes sure we don't... Uh, feel sour later. Uh, and Super Zarni, it's the all-player commentary. All-player being the adjective, okay? 
We're not saying that all players in the world are commentating this game. Come on, people. So, <laughs> the woman's body or Ryan's body again? Be my body. Where? I don't know. Be my buddy. This is good. What's the worst that could happen if I take the southwest one? I don't think Ryan's beaten me to the blue, but if he does, it's a bummer. And Kriggs, mm. uh, I have to dispute your comment right away. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> in fact, was very... Uh, the word's not coming to my brain immediately, but he didn't care if he went below 700, so we can't hold that against him. I got my master badge. I no longer care again about my ELO. Whatever, it could go wherever it wants, yeah. We, I don't care if we're on trading mode or not. Now, I, needed, I needed some free low, so I was I, on team. Let's go with some ELO. But. I, guess, I guess I will admit there is a small part of me that currently cares about my ELO simply because I know Good Story is going to drop off the leaderboards in like 10 more days or something if they don't play again, in which case I might get the number one rating back, and I, I would like to temporarily be on top again, but eh, whatever. I suggest you play some two players. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but see, then it doesn't mean anything to me. I'm just going to keep playing four-player games, and uh, something will happen, and maybe mm. it'll get there. Oh, th yeah, these these opening placements have not been made easy on me. Uh, this is, I guess, one of the biggest struggles for Brown. I, it, certain colors can be better, right? But yeah, like, this is... It is tough for you, and I wasn't... Yeah, I don't know. I this is this is a tough start already. I thought Andrew was going to be at D three. I thought we were going to have a big leech party, and uh, his D six placement still really surprises yeah, me. Yeah, and I kind of have to go E six, and I think I have to go E six to tell Andrew that if he goes D three, I'm taking E seven right away, and hope that that's enough know. dissuasion. I don't even know what the hexes are. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> it just hurts my eyes to pull it up. Yeah, it's not. I don't, it's, I don't love the hex names either, but it's it is very helpful. Oh, it's, it's, there's so many things on the board now. Um, so yeah. if I wasn't casting for me for D three, like who's taking C four? I think D three is my best spot here. Let's see how this works out. Oh yeah, giant leech party's on. So I'm just gonna be neighborless in the. I mean, in I'll be your I mean, sooner or later. I'm going to be on F5 Maybe. real, yeah, real okay. fast. <laughs> turn one, some may say. Uh, well, turn, like, turn two or three, but... Well, I mean, round one. That's what I meant. Triple yes. What I take here. New strong, stronghold opening is... You actually table. took shipping. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not yes. predicted. Look how good <laughs> it is for green. I mean, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. But I was, I thought they would get a dig, like, fairly certainly. So I thought Priest uh, Air looked nice. Well, sure. So but... so two two thoughts. Yeah, uh, this might work. Let's try something silly. So ever since you went... Your mic ever, I was gonna do. ever since you went D6, like, I guess I could have got D5 and then, like, hoped that I got single dig. <laughs> but I don't know. A bit of a concern there. And then second thought, we'll see how it goes, but... I'm not unconvinced that I'll get a priest power action and get to send it to air. Although Mike didn't take priest like I thought he would, so I probably won't get that anymore. Uh, but I thought alchemists were always taking the workers. Double temple, baby. So I thought that's a possibility, but I thought he also might just open temple. I get priest temple and more dwellings. I need to guarantee my double dig. Happen. Yeah, that's fair. It's really not what I wanted, but you know. We make sacrifices to get good moves. Yeah, it's fair. And I'm thinking this is going to be an econ favor opening for me. So... Hmm. I'll still 
Should I build anything right now? I shouldn't math this out because we're on a bit of a time crunch. We're doing fine so far, but we do want to be done within two hours total. Um, I'll take e7 right now. Be a little nice Beach to baby. the Giants. Why wait? Why wait? Beach baby. Nah, you're nice to yourself. I was going to stomp all over that X. With what? You still have to do a move. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to do it. Yeah, Super Zarni, you're correct. But I felt like you had to build it, right? Because then, like, I just go stronghold next move, and then you well, build it. Well, I mean, I like... could have also done G5 this move, E7 next move. Oh. I'm not actually sure I'm supposed to upgrade here, but ugh, I did. Ryan, I'm curious to see... Uh, what opening you go with. I know that temple is standard and generally better. Um, and I guess it also depends on if you get the priest power action or not. Uh, but so stronghold I have first. a lot of, yeah, I have a lot of flexibility here and I agree. I haven't actually passed on a stronghold opening because I think stronghold opening is okay. As long as you have an answer for your worker production and I could just take a worker's power action and open stronghold three dwellings, in which case I think stronghold's totally okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I haven't committed. I haven't committed really to anything right now. I'm happy to go temple still. I yeah. I genuinely don't actually know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, Nerdcube asks, is there a world where open uh, for Orange should be TP, uh, TP plus four D? And I think if there wasn't this air spade in round one, that would be a lot more reasonable to think about. Wow, it might go stronghold. Oh, yeah, okay, well, that was. Yeah, wow. wow. That's cool. Take that. But I see what he's now. I see what he's doing for real this time. That's very unexpected. Uh, okay. Look well, those power actions—they can't all go. Well, the priest is going right now, but yeah, the single dig will come <laughs> back. But I don't really care if you get single dig. I mean, I think Mike wants priest. So. I think he wants workers. Well, I think he's opening temple stronghold, and then I don't know. Me. I don't. But, That's policy. I mean, I'm taking the workers, so. And I figured that was pretty likely, though. So that's what I mean. Like, I think he's not gonna actually get much here, but we'll see. All right. Do I want to back up my claims of an econ favor here? Earth two seems okay, but I don't know. My faction's bad. Probably just <laughs> supposed to take Earth one. <laughs> Any any thoughts on that? I think you're supposed Earth to just one. take Earth you One. Your yeah. You're opening Temple Three Dwellings. Your economy's okay. You have okay leech. Um, and we were kind of saying this game like the track's not super thrilling. I just I'm not totally sure how economy is gonna make up the same points, but yeah. Well, it's the past. Wait tiles. a second. What did Mike do? He just advanced ship. So yeah. I still do have single there sure. as an option. Sure. Oh That's my god! Deal. Wow. Okay. Uh, no, I mean that makes enough sense. But yeah. Oh, okay. Except now you. Okay. Now you can single dig wherever you want. Well, he's not single digging. You know what? Uh, he's just gonna save. I don't know. F seven and G seven are not don't terrible. Worry about your own games. Stop. Mike, that's not Stop how this funny. works. Do you I want know, me to disinvite you? <laughs> I don't. In, I'm probably not gonna dig, but we'll see. You're probably just might. building out. You're probably just building out. Actually, yeah, it seems fine. I found a friend in the south. Ooh. His name is Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he's not a friend. He's a foe. <laughs> I I don't know what I am. Scoreboard. He's I'm a setting this. I'm sending, this, I'm sending this priest to air. I don't think there's any chance Giants do oh, it. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, this is a really good start for you now. <laughs> um, I mean, there was uh, there was very little chance Giants were going to do that, right? But Giants aren't going to waste that. Giants are advancing dig, I think, in order to get two dwellings out. Or not, not dig? Dig? Ship, dig? Oh, ship, 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 obviously. Yeah, sorry. Advance ship and get out two dwellings. Um, out. So it's that's an option. The other option is priest to earth. Yeah, actually, that's fair. That's... I need Juicy Priest. 
But I do love me some econ. And I should not let my stronghold get trapped. It's fine. You can let that happen. <laughs> Tell me up. <laughs> All right. I'm Luckily, unlike Fire and Ice, it'd be quite unreasonable to get your stuff trapped on this map. I'm starting to get tempted of ideas of a two temple opening, but that's probably just bad. So, sending lots of priests to the cults at least pays back pretty nicely this game, right? So, like, I'm partly also still on the do I skip uh, building a temple here. And it's really not clear because, like, <sighs> no temple means I don't have priest production, and no priest production kind of sucks. That's the there's, dream. There's so much value to priests here, but. The chat wants four dwellings or five dwellings. I, I mean, that's what I'm looking at, right? I can, I can open just trading post in five dwellings, which is also a really strong economy. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely. It's a tough position. I mean, it's weird other, to not take other... culty stuff with Orin in round one. Yeah, not, not getting. A temple is not my preference here, but it's not that bad. I'm trying to predict right now what the power actions are like next round and how much more we Predicting stuff? Oh, man, what is this? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I would say you care too much about your ELO, but we don't even have ELO on it. <laughs> I just care about how I want this game to unfold. It's really tough still, because like, I do have just so much flexibility right now in terms of like opening. Um, yeah. And it's also, how much do I care about the D5 hex that you could take from me? I'm not even sure you care about it, but I also am debating if I care about Earth 1, because like, if I... Yeah, it's this is actually a really confusing spot in the game for me. I don't think uh, either option's going to be that wrong. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. None yeah. of the options are that wrong, is the thing. So, in looking at what this game, well, as you said, we're not sure how much econ is going to pay off here, right? Um, just because it's only really the past tiles, and Orin want to capitalize on cults this game, given the weakness in the other factions. So, I feel like going econ is more wrong in the larger sense, even though TP and five D is really good. <laughs> I kind of think that's where I'm falling too. Like, I really love going high econ, but I think it's kind of hard to make that a winning strat this game because alchemists are going to beat me on network. I'm still not sure I'm ever going to connect. So yeah, I think I have to play. I think I have to be more. I don't even know who you are anymore. <sighs> it's okay. this is a it was a really tough choice. Like going for the huge econ is really tempting, but like I think I think I am giving up so much cult potential by not getting a priest production too. And yeah, sorry, chat, for booing me, but like, I, I'm explaining. <laughs> so you are I, I think I have to. I think I have to go for cults. I mean, even I'm the ones that can build one more, but well, I think to counter Nerdcube's point, if you don't go for, or if you do get on the cults with priests, you don't need to build your stronghold. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a fair bit of value as Orin, just because Stronghold always well, and there's, is not well, great. And there's certainly an argument that everybody else is sending their priests or using their priests to other spots, um, which is not that wrong. So, like, I don't know. There's definitely a chance I didn't need to do But, oh well. Okay. You guys made my life easy. Yep. Didn't have to think. It's always nice when you don't so you have do, to think. So you do it, people. Just make other people make your decisions. All right, I will open by trying to claim at least one cult for myself here. We all know what a three-step means. It's your cult. That's what I say every, every day when I wake up in the morning. Yeah. Crick says Ryan has to build Stronghold. No Walmart witches allowed. <laughs> I, so, I don't appreciate the Walmart disrespect here. I'm definitely 
definitely very tempted to go stronghold this round. The only oh. downside of going stronghold this round is I'm just leaving these green hexes sit there, but you know. Eh, maybe that doesn't matter. Oh, you're going to take more coins, aren't you? Absolutely. Oh, my coins. Your coins. Yeah, my coins. Mine. All mine. <laughs> All right, so we didn't get double dig. We could go for a single dig, but I think we just take the priest here. Damn, these things are hotly contested. I mean, again, they pay out at least two coins, possibly four coins, and like you also get cult victory points in a game where there are decent victory points just hanging around on the cults. And is next round a digging round for my halflings? Who knows? Yeah, that's fair too. My chump. I'm I'm concerned about how much leech alchemists are getting, though. I guess. You did just well, take the last Earth One. Mike! Yeah. Wait, yeah, I was going to say, Mike! Something. Yeah, I mean, Mike never got Earth One. I, mean, because I, he, I, yeah. ne I never believed that Alchemist needed much leech. We'll see. You're also he a hot take got... machine these days, so. He is, he is a hot take machine, and he already got plenty of leech, so. Yeah, I feel like this is cult wise a good blend between me and you, Ryan, where. I get Earth without too much contest because you're getting coins off the power action and you get the three spots on your favorite cults naturally. Yeah. Well, and I get spades. I, like, I'm just getting spades. Right, really. like your spades are just so high value. Yeah. It is looking like a stronghold here. Um, <sighs> it's really tough. I actually you don't... You don't have to trade now, right? Yeah, I might just go. I might. It might. Yeah, exactly. It might just be leave it at a trading post and stronghold next round. Um, it it partly depends on where Andrew's about to dig. Right. I think yeah, we're all waiting with bated breath here to know where this. I am too. I am too. <laughs> yeah, giants. Giants have definitely. Again, I still never expected. I did not expect the whole D six, and so yeah, it's like. Mm -mm. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like he's gonna try to get himself over to the east quickly is his bigger priority, but I don't know. Yeah. Mm. So, like, a seven, you think, is possible? I don't think I really. Uh, I think a seven, and I think a seven to b five to e five looks like a nice progression. Partly why I say that is because I mean, at this point, like now, Mike looks like maybe he's building a temple, but I thought Mike was maybe just going for tons of early workers, and he was gonna dig bomb in round three. Um, in which case, I think he's going to try to secure a stronghold town pretty aggressively. But it looks like his stronghold's just going to get cut off this game now. Um, so I don't really know. Mm. Yeah, I'm in the tank here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Not take giants so early. I actually don't even think that's... I don't think he took giants that early. I mean, he has giants with pretty good economy and Earth 1. Yeah, uh, like yeah, I, I just think D, I think D six is just the problem. Like E five just looks better. It's definitely what I was expecting. I was expecting E five this game. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I could just pass here and be okay. It's not ideal though. Hmm. I think I'll just advance dig and see what happens. Saucy. <clears throat> Alright, time to commit. Um, stronghold's quite good. Giants don't really seem to care, but halflings have partially upgraded digging. Yeah, there's too many digging factions this game. I think I'm supposed to secure my hexes and build stronghold next round. Is I think here. that's probably but right. I, yeah. I yeah. think you're a what? I think there's just too much pressure. I actually don't think you're that big of a threat, Andrew. I don't really think you care. It's, but... it's me looking at D4 in the face and 
Ryan deciding if he wants to secure it now, perhaps. Can't afford it now. Um, well, I can't afford D four this. Well, yeah, I have a called can. spade. Well, I have a called spade too. So we're talking about. So like, I could make, I could dig D four, but even without that, it's just like I think Mike's gonna. I still think Mike might advantage dig pretty soon. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think there's too many pressure in these hexes, and I can just build stronghold next round, and just, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, then for me. If I'm passing here, what am I passing on to? You're actually digging next round temp ship, right? But maybe not. Well, but... I don't really need temp ship yet. Um, okay. I think just passing for the priest is still pretty good. I can still <laughs> turn that priest into four coins and two power. Yeah. Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, let's do that. The priest is definitely good here, yeah. Or I can use that priest for my advanced ship instead of going for the temp. Mm -hmm. I did briefly look at the single dig action there, but I think that's just too inefficient compared to what I can do with my power next round. Seems like they think in here, sorry. So I can't can't get on the priest, so it's less interesting to get one going here, and it's, I don't have any coins, so I think we'll conserve a little. Oh, you're not going to temple yet. Where are your priests coming from, Mike? Not, not That's anymore. what I'm thinking. Yeah, Mike's uh, gone down a very different uh, alchemist path than I was expected. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I don't I think, think that's that not, not going well. Not going well. All the sauce. All right, team, we have a slightly weird choice. We could build another trading post still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who do you think's on your team? <laughs> it's everybody's team Lumen here. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks, Andrew, for I reminding actually... people where to go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I do like the tra people in their place. I think I like the trading post play. But you never believe in the trading notes. You always tell me it's wrong when I do it. Because it almost always is. <laughs> it's almost always not wrong. Hmm. Well, I was counting on Mike to make F7 a temple here. Pretty disappointed in terms of leech. Mm -hmm. But, you passed for priests, so it's tough for me to get two priests by next round, so I don't really care about priests anymore. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> it's tough for me to get two priests in next round. You can't get two without one. <laughs> so we go with zero instead. <laughs> oh, he gives giants power. That's not cool. That was some funky I, math. There's, there's no reason to give you two power there. You guys are already done upgrading. Like, yup. To be nice. I knew it was gonna be here. That's why I was a fan. <gasps> oh, the it leech. is D four. Okay. Oh, is now when Ryan pulls out the six workers? <laughs> or not, Ryan Lumen? We'll see. I don't. I I'm pretty sure the answer is no, but it's definitely a little risky. Um, but he hasn't fully advanced. I think he definitely just wants to advance dig and then do other stuff. But losing d4 is definitely rough for him. I mean, it's not ideal, but I mean, my temple's there. It can be a sanctuary town still. I think your priorities are not on f6, and Mike's not advanced digging yet. So I, I don't even have an advanced ship. I can't reach f6. I agree. f6 is yours whenever you want it. No, I agree. I actually think it's fine for you not to get up to the north here. Like, you have enough other hexes. You can go other places, but I don't know. And again, I, ultimately, I also just never trust anyone is really what it comes to. But <laughs> Trust no one. All right, so... Earth is mine. Nobody touch Earth. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have... Uh... I, I cleared the cult. Someone took it. <laughs> 
This is fun. I don't have Earth 1, so what? I'm going to take some coins. I think it makes tons of sense for Alchemist to just get greedy early, yeah. But, yeah, that's a blow to Andrew for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice little bonus. Can you, I, <laughs> we talked about this the other day. Oh, my goodness. Without Earth 1, I can't be turning too many coins into points. And here it is, a coin Point town. Coin. Big coin town. I mean, it's it's round three. It is it is fine to build up your economy. He has Earth 1. It's he might get like Water 1. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, Ship Town is, I mean, <laughs> another option too, right? Like, Yeah, I'm not convinced that it's better. I mean, spending not, two or three points on a priest seems pretty good. I It's pretty equivalent, I agree. It didn't matter a ton, but... We got the double dig. Yeah, he's he's moving around. Mike spreading the wings. And Do Ryan I want to accept it up. leech? Hell yeah. All right, new question, everybody: Is water one the play or is air one the play? Nerdcube pointing out that Ship Town seemed great for Giants because of how good Priest of Fire would be. Maybe that spoils Andrew's <laughs> plan of power actioning a Priest. <laughs> Andrew's obviously concerned about something, and it's not me sending a Priest to Fire. No, I'm not uh, concerned about anything. We suck up the two key town. Sucka. And then I really don't actually know about water one versus air one, but it's probably supposed to just be water one. But like, I already made another trading post. Air one's usually a little too fancy. <laughs> it doesn't do enough hey. denial, in my opinion. I think that's probably the biggest issue. Yeah, I think I think I think putting pressure on water one is the bigger importance here. I mean, I think the thing is Mike is just going to take a copy, and I don't really know if Halflings care about getting a copy in time, but I guess the 90 water one is more important than putting weird air one pressure into the last round. Yeah, seems right. I mean, Andrew's economy is so rough that I think I have the edge on getting water one over him. That's possible, too. Yeah, I mean, he's up to two ship. He can, he can get... It's giant. We can do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I quote that? <laughs> quote it. It's yeah, giant. Can, we can uh, do uh, anything. Uh, <laughs> no. I still want to make. I still want to make t-shirts and be like, "TM is a game of coins." Well, that's fine. But I've, I've wanted that for a year now. But the thesis of <laughs> giants being able to do anything can't be right. What do you mean? I can stomp on whatever hexes I want. It's in the name. I don't think that's how it works, but you know, Dirt, I guess that's just my opinion. Dirt keep wants a giant shirt. That's that's what I see. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Yeah, what fools? What fools would not want? I mean, because you know, Dirt keeps clearly the best Giants player out there, right, Bizzle? <laughs> Where's Bizzle at? <laughs> <laughs> He's playing his own game. Who knows? <clears throat> I thought I got a notification he just signed on, but could be wrong. <laughs> All right, do I need another priest? I don't know, sure. Yeah, I'm surprised you ended up with the priest action there. I kind of am too, but... Um, anything against me just taking F6 now? If I get two more leech, I can get another dwelling this round. Uh, oh, wait, no, I could... I could get fancy. That's probably too fancy. Oh, what do we say about fancy play, Lumen? Uh, it's a syndrome, and don't do it. Yes, but but, but, but actually but just do, but actually just do it anyhow because yeah, it's it's fun. <laughs> uh, I think I take G six. Oh, there you go, Mike. What? 
Oh, I think about Kevin Kane's action. I paid Lumen. <laughs> I don't need that spot. That'd be fun. Nobody look at my points. <laughs> I think uh, you've made points. Really got this gut feeling. <laughs> also, don't look at my points. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't think halflings were that bad here. I'm glad I stuck yeah. with it. I watched the game one or two nights ago where halflings got along well with darklings in the game. They didn't really fight. I don't think black and brown always fight that much on this map. All right, where's uh, where are the landscapes? I would like like my twelve victory points. <laughs> I would like my six. That would help a lot. <laughs> six on flexibility. I would love that. I would like my yeah. drillers, yeah. please and thank you. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. I get twelve points. Lumen can have a driller. I'm okay with this trade. <laughs> All right, how many coins? That is quite the trade. Eight. So okay with that trade. I would. Huh. All right, I do get a pass here. I get a pass tile. Woo. May as well take it. No. Yeah. yeah. Seems about right. Uh, I think for a sec, do to do, we're making six power. Okay. We're all we're all tied on network right now. Look at this, amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how it'll end. <laughs> oh wow! Look, uh, look at that. Ryan got up to Earth Seven. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out it turns out two key town plus priests plus Orin is just yeah. Um, I'm gonna just win all the call. You can make a temple. Can be done. <laughs> Alchemist first temple, round four. I mean, you're just following the track, right? I mean, good play. You don't mean that. It's not, it's not I, the track. I, didn't I don't check, beat it. Yeah. I didn't check about which spot I wanted to trading post. I think that one's wrong. I'm going to undo because I'm a chump. <gasps> yeah, it's fine. Wait. Whoa, whoa, I'm not passing what in the world, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the right spot. That's what happens when you go fast. Really? Wow. He needs to get he, around. I need to, yeah, like, what, how is this this shocking? Like... It's not just get around, but it's like I now have another town spot. Like, what else did you want me to do? But now you do. I mean, I I literally already have a town spot. Yes, I need a bridge. So there's that. But like, that's a town. Town it up, <laughs> or at least making sure you get one. Some people know how to play green on this map, Andrew. Getting more than one town. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I won the game. I won the game. <laughs> you could have won it by more. <laughs> I, was, I was quite content with my one town witches game. That's all you need, people. Speaking of Walmart yeah. witches, one town witches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Uh, see, I was pretty sure I was never connecting this game. Andrew could still sure. technically yeah. build Sanctuary, so I'll lock up Water 1, I think. Yeah. That seems... does seem good. I'm 
many priests does a guy need? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> right? No, a, a lot. I've tried to tell you, like, it, it kind of stuns me how much I've gotten a priest power action in a game where every priest is just, like, four coins plus victory points on the cults, but, like, none of you keep taking them, so whatever, they're all mine. I've been, yeah, I've been doing my share. So, I agree, you have. Oh, right. Mike, Mike choosing to never take a priest power action and finally build a temple is pretty stunning to me. It, it is completely unexpected by me. Or at least from yeah. my point of view, I should say. You did take a priest for five power in the first round. You did do that. Oh, yeah, that's true, you did do that. Were there alternatives to that? Who's to say? I, I could have <laughs> yeah, I could have burned for one quicker. Before building your stronghold, yeah. I was really surprised when the stronghold happened. I like I literally did not expect stronghold, and then all of a sudden I was like, Wow, you have a lot of power and I think all the actions are about to disappear, but Yeah, and it was funny because it was like they can't all go and they all went. <laughs> <laughs> they mostly won. Yep. What can I say? But it's all right. I mean, look at Mike go. He's he's running some sort of alchemisty game plan. Where do I go? Yeah. It doesn't have Earth One in it, but it's it some sort of plan. Yeah, you can't have it all, you know. <laughs> it, it has one ship, no advanced dig, but it's, there's something here. I mean, he is. I was gonna say the the amount of coin conversions he's doing this game has, is gonna be very like almost like a record low. It's quite exciting. I mean, I've seen some people do less, but uh, like if if newer players are allergic to that that alchemist ability as a whole, then they do do less. All right, do I just let you win Earth Living, and then I just win the other cults? I'm asking you. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. That's fine. That's it's yours. Ryan. No, you have to claim your dominance. Uh, win 20, them all. Twenty-eight points on cults is good enough. Lumen can have Earth. It's fine. Oh man, you let me down. So disappointing. I, he doesn't uh, have I, the Tree of Serenity to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, if only. If only I had a Tree of Serenity. That would, that would be would have something. just been, like, really, really strong this game in that case. I, I agree. A landscape would make actually a lot of difference for me, so. Um, I could make a giant dwelling <laughs> town. I kind of want to get to the west eventually. I mean, you gotta be as cool. You gotta be cool, right? If you want to be cool, you gotta have at least five dwellings in town. <laughs> uh, has Nerd Keep it teaching you the ways? Yeah, <laughs> I've been taking so many notes. Oh yes, so it's good. Like it's so symmetrical right now. Honestly, you could put a trading house right in the middle, and it'd be perfect. <laughs> Nerd Cube says I've so never agreed with Andrew Moore. I mean, and you gotta know how to where to place your town top. It's gotta be the, it's gotta be on that trading house right in the middle. Else you fail. I think I actually have different plans. I'm gonna disappoint everyone. Ooh, I'm already That's disappointed. I don't know how my hex names came, turned off. Uh, probably when I had to undo. But I'm thinking about just taking E4 here to make my town. Making a possible bridge town, F2, G3, H2. And that seems pretty efficient, honestly. The inefficiencies are that next round is the dwelling scoring round. But is that the only inefficiency? Maybe. Let's try that. The real question is, are we going for a win, or are we going for a cool town? These are big both. questions, Andrew. I'm not equipped to answer these right now. <laughs> well, honestly, <laughs> um, you know, E4 is a pretty cool All right. I'll, mm. I think Trading Post is probably a better play economically at this point, given next round's towns. There you go, Nerd Cube. Here it is. Everything you wanted. As long as the town goes in the middle section, it's okay, right? Yeah, it's got to go on the trading house. On the trading... I think H5 is a good... G5 or H5? G5. 
I don't even know. on the temple. Even on the temple, it could be fine. <laughs> but then it covers up the town, and we all know how much I hate that. Well, you d- you can see it's a cult town, and you can see it's not the two key town. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, Ryan would never build a town and not take the two key town. I would all the time, but if I'm Orin in a game where nobody else is going to contest cults if I just win the 2k town, um, yeah, like, I got so much economy and so much points out of that thing, like, it was very good well, for me. How much me. economy did you actually get? You got it in round three, right? Yeah, so I got two coins, I got a ton of power, and I'm going to get some extra power, and then I got so many more victory points than what I, like... If somebody else gets that, it makes it actually really hard for me to get win a lot of cults. Like, <laughs> it makes it significantly trickier. As is, like, none of you are even like part of the advantage is like none of you are even really going to contest me now. Like, you just don't re- like whatever cult you try to win, I just mm. win that one. And so, like, it's great. I continue to request that no one look at my points. Thank you. I, yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring that. That doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I'm not going to connect. And, you know, yeah, I'm at the lowest points. But cults, like, just look at that. And that's that's how I'm winning in my heart. Ryan over here playing like a 200 rated player. <laughs> I mean, I still think I'm getting second this game, honestly. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Or an OP. Sorry. I'm thinking here. I, 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 I mean, we talked pretty openly. I do think Lumen is winning this game. I think he's going to. Oh I yeah, for doing, sure. I think he's doing decent on network. He's doing decent on cults. He's gonna end the game at like 120 victory points, and then have like 30-ish post games. So yeah, like I think he just wins. I think I'm still on track though to be in second here. I think Mike's game is kind of off the rails, but we'll see. I mean, he's doing interesting stuff in terms of like he's not gonna have to coin convert, and I guess he still has a decent time. number of I'm points sure left. Going here. But That's yeah. The problem. Let's think of where we're going here. So, Eric, you're correct that uh, it, maybe I didn't actually need the two key town. It might have been okay to just take the one key. Especially town, if you but... end up not taking Earth from me, I think that's yeah. the biggest consideration for two keys is trying to completely max cults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's that. possible. And I feel like he was just gonna be so dominant on cults, anyways, that it didn't matter too much so the big thing is like if i'm let's say i'm one less step on every cult right now and lumen's one step more on every cult all of a sudden everything looks way more messy to me yeah it's but the tempo maybe yeah maybe i over overvalue some stuff but no, like, i think uh, silent tempo on cults is a big deal do, 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 do. you just have a nice philosophy of cults suck it's definitely a philosophy one could have and uh it comes with an elo that one could have <laughs> but um i think one thing that makes my game most comfortable perhaps is that i have my connection already secured and that Correct. can't necessarily be said of others i think mine's secured like i i just need one more shipping brian's never connecting yeah, and, I mean, Mike, Mike, Mike presumably connects, but it, it's Mike's. Mike's is not super guaranteed. Like, I mean, there are like three different axes that he can take, so I think he's fine. You definitely needed that double dig. I was about to take e four. I was pretty sure of that. I mean, the question is like, I still could have just left you have e four though, right? Like, I can just bridge. Yeah, but I think e four is better because it just I need. There's a lot of dwellings I want. To build this round, so yeah, I think I just get a lot more dwelling time. You out. and me both. Skip the yeah. Well, I'm playing to win the game, so I'm doing this. Nice. There you go. Slows Lemon down a little. I mean, yeah, I left it there too long if I wanted it, and uh, now I don't have to build my sanctuary. <laughs> it's a bonus. <laughs> I was doing him a favor. Nerd Cube agrees with Nerd. the move. Yeah, yeah, he does. He likes that. And I mean, I think it's very fair and has a lot yeah. of legitimacy to it. So, yeah, I agree. It this makes sense. Signs off on the move. But I mean, I can't really. My worker economy is actually not amazing, so I can't really afford to defend it 
it's not worth it. Well, I don't now think. that uh, my increase digging twice, I'll take the hex. Yeah, I was a bit surprised Mike let you on that hex. It seems... I was a little too. Yeah. It looks like the perfect hex so, for him. I, I was going to say, Mike, why, at the very least, I think you were supposed to, after doing one dig advance, you just turn it gray or something, and then... Or maybe not gray, because I'm, I'm... Yeah, you would turn it, what? Yellow. Blue? I got infinite workers, I don't care. Or, yeah, yellow, I don't know. <laughs> well, the one thing I think <laughs> could go very wrong for Andrew by taking F6 is that Alchemists and Orin can still just easily take H8. They can, yeah, I know. You know, I'm playing to win. I think if you just get an easy down there, I don't, I don't have a chance. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think that's don't a wrong assessment in any way. I don't play for second. We all know this. Do we? I'm not here to make friends. Yeah, a little bit, or he's made it pretty clear that he doesn't believe in playing for second. <laughs> Too many options here. Mike's only on one ship right now. And is going to take H8, apparently. It looks that way. Yeah, I'll just take a single dig and hard dig. Figure that might happen. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I made you do something a little inefficient. I mean, the pressure. I might have been doing that anyways. The pressure is still good, but yeah. I'm going to be able to advance the ship a second time. Do I actually want that, though? Surely you won't mess with this area now. Mike being sneaky. Yeah, Mike's going to get us three towns. Baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing contesting second place fire? Well, I just want four power. Mm. So do I. <laughs> Get out of there! Well, you go. You go one step. I'll go two. Deal? No. You go one no. step. Like a chump. Well, no. Why would I ever go one step when I could just make an eight point down real quick? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going one step. I'm not a chump. I mean, some evidence would point to the contrary. I did take Earth one. <laughs> We're all jumped here. Yeah, Mike's the only one that he was. Ah, he's so to skip. He was because he wanted it. He wanted it. I mean, really yes. <laughs> I slower your hands. You're not gonna go slower than me, are you? I think Your I might have gone too there. fast. That conversion was probably oh. bad. Andrew, you got like two more moves left. You'll never know. Whatever, I'll go fast. Uh, I have to think about this. I'm going to earn 8 power from the cults. Uh, I'm, on, I'm earning like 12 power already. Which means, yeah, I don't want that. Okay. Oh man, I'm declining leech. What is this? It's I'm only, like, it's only because I... Run. It's only because I literally can't use it. Old Ryan, go take it. <laughs> Sorry. This is, this is, it's like, it's sort of like Gandalf the Grey versus Gandalf the White. It's now, I'm a master level. I can't, I can't, I can't give in to my desires like that. <laughs> I have to I turn down. Every desire, every econ desire <laughs> I ever want. I skipped I trading post and five dwellings opening. I don't even know who I am either. Like, I oh. cried. I cried when I saw that. I just don't think there's any way I was going to connect this game. So, like, I just don't think it's worth trying to go big econ. Oh. 
Well, that doesn't look like an eight-point town. It certainly doesn't. I got a four. It, it, no, this is a, this is a, a, like a seventeen-point town. It's, I uh, feel betrayed. What? Uh, how many points is Willie Lumen willing to pay? You know, this is like a seventeen-point town. Not sure what that means. I think I'm supposed to just take the eleven pointer. <laughs> Uh, George Shortwell asks, does that make me Frodo? Um, I don't know. Uh, someone else can do the analysis on that. And NerdCube asks, uh, Ryan, did you start getting the weird magical dreams when you hit Master 2? Uh, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> uh. The answer to the leech is no. I, I don't need that right now. Yeah. And with with the power of your master rating comes a uh, great responsibility. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. I agree, Super Zarni. I agree. How also are you gonna get the master? Four power better than priest to air. These are the questions. No, I did say that one steps are for chumps, so can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I I messed up this by going for um, the worker direct conversion that killed my tempo on pass yeah. tiles. I could have taken priest right. power action. Yeah, you gave me the opportunity to take a seventeen point town. <laughs> the stall tactic, yes, good job. That was a good move. I'll see if I can win this game on three passing VP. <laughs> Maybe? Probably? I don't know. It's, it's, it's possible, okay. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's. it's I don't think I have just... enough, enough juice left in the tank. You do kind of look done. Like, you, get water a, water. you get a dwelling or two, but yeah, you, you don't have much here. Um, let's I'm see. Pulling your air cult. So temp ship gets me the coin so, action. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wind up sending a priest to air here before passing, even though I can't earn that power because the power bonus is the worst cult reward. <laughs> <laughs> power bonus is the best cult reward. It's so bad. It's the, um, so bad. <laughs> you know, why do people hate on the power cult? It's so good if it comes to like round two. Sure. So it can sometimes be it can sometimes be good, but it's still and then like people still crash it. It's well. It's still just worse. Like it's like it's just less efficient than getting workers or coins or spades directly, and then you have these issues of overfall and like. Doesn't that uh, just yeah, feel good? No, oh, no. It just always feels, like it. It always feels, feels bad. Always feels bad. Uh, it's the dreams. I wonder if All I'm right. building an unironic stronghold here. Do I care which? Probably yeah. Not. All right. Do I care which pass do I get between these two? Not really. Uh, nor does Mike. And I do care about Giants stealing air. Yeah, not getting a pass tile here is a big bummer. Classic Lumen. Classic Lumen. That's this is very classic. <laughs> absolute classic. <laughs> if we really got a pass tile here, I wouldn't know who he was. I even took the fourth pass tile so that I could pass right behind literally anyone, and then I failed to do that. <laughs> uh, you, know, you, you know, you did your best. That's what matters. <laughs> Yeah, clearly not. But you know. <laughs> oh man, I was so certain I was getting seven coins here. How? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's just say, like, the one thing Lumen can at least do for passing first is punish us all for not getting a coin action. Yeah. So. And nobody took what? the coins past tile. Oh, because there's points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was points. <laughs> points are good. There was, there was points. I, I, I had a good thing about points. Uh, let me build a sanctuary before I don't 
Get it. All right. There's one air one left. I would like to join you on the air one rush as well. Why is this thing eight points? Oh my god, I forgot about that. All your coins, Ryan. (laughs) What a terrible, what a terrible (laughs) building. Yeah, come on, Orin. What the hell? Oh, let's go. I got the right amount of stuff. I thought I had the right amount of stuff until I remembered that I needed to pay two extra coins for that thing. <laughs> okay, am I actually SOL on this last town? I think I might be. No neighbor. Why do I have no neighbors here? Why does everyone suck? So if you make a hex green, maybe I'll just come over and it'd be nice. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Possible. He ain't gonna do it. Is that too nice? He's not gonna give, he's not gonna give his biggest competitor like a town. Like what? But it gets me a town. <laughs> Sounds like collusion to me. <laughs> That's I, what I'm saying. Collusion. It seems. It yep. seems. Perma ban. Perma ban on both from the season. Seems unlikely that I would do it, but we never know. It just means I win, right? If they get banned, I win. <laughs> yeah, you and me, first and second, just like we dreamed. Well, the thing yep. is, I built all my dwellings already. I. It turns out I should have secured either F6 or E4 faster. Woo! I did a thing. It's all right. It's all right. Lumen's been giving you crap about one town witches and or whatever that was the other day, and now Lumen can have a one town half. I mean, I had one town witches yesterday and one town giants today. So, yeah, that's. I this feel like all a... about one town people. No, it's not. I feel like a failure for only having two towns. I, I mean, to be fair, oh I'm actually. My like, I'm so. If I had chosen to, I probably could have made a town up here at A five B three and make a sanctuary town up here. I. I feel bad. Well, oh, it's funny. I feel like this map encourages less towns because of the way the hexes are laid out, and like if you get shipping, oh. you just get a bunch of free hexes. You're, you're, you're crazy. There's plenty of towns to be had on this map. <laughs> It's just easier to expand without digging on this map, so it seems very reasonable go, to Ryan. build down. Wow, he took the bait. So I I will have to at least remind you I have no dwellings to build right at this moment, but you know, there's that too, but <laughs> yeah. and this is always happening. Yeah. I don't know, I thought you might hit somebody else. And there's no one else I can hit. Yeah, we're unhittable. Boom. Yep. Uh, uh, what happens when you don't connect? You can't get hit. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> I got my talents out of the way. Yeah, I can't be touched. Oh man, Mike feeds Ryan the leech since I killed him. Yep, we're no longer friends. No friends. Not even accepted it though. I don't need his. I don't need his. Oh, pass. Ryan's not your friend either. Look at this. See that? What am I gonna do, do with that? resources, boo? No one's friends. We're all haters. How much should I give up on this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, I hate this. It's okay. I still have actual points. Actual points well, are you. good. Actually, I can confirm. Actual points are good. Yeah. I want to be at like one thirty. Not enough points. <clears throat> doesn't that doesn't sound like enough points? I agree. 
Look I don't think pretty I'm things look out. out here, Ryan. Yeah, look, it definitely saves me some resources if I just come join you, but it also gives you a lot of points. Like, uh, <laughs> like this, this can't be right. It feels, it it feels like a trap. Be right yeah, it feels <laughs> like a trap. I've, I've <laughs> seen traps before, and this is what they look like. And yet, oh, it does kind of help me out. I don't know. I'm gonna just delay. <laughs> Moving up water, <laughs> discouraging Mike from doing anything weird. Although, wait, Mike's supposed to advance ship twice anyhow. What am I talking about? Whatever. Working on it. You're getting there, yeah. I don't know. I think you might have tried to go for water, so can't be that wrong to dissuade you. Oh, man. Wow. Well, that's, that's, uh, Mike, that's bold. What? What's up? I mean, the halflings are just like, hello. Mike gives the old sup. I mean, he's trying to, yeah, he's still trying to get his, he's still trying to get his three towns. It makes sense. Have a dream. Mm. Mm. Can't do that. So we will take a priest. Okay. <sighs> I think I think I, I I like part of me. So I really kind of want to build next to Lumen because it allows you to advance ship one more time, and that's quite a few more points. But God, it's so many more points for Lumen. On the other hand, you could just increase shipping. <laughs> oh, and then I build the dwelling that's less useful for him. But then he might just hit that hex, in which case then I have to build next mm -hmm. to him. See, that seems that seems like a bad deal. Well, I, I'm confused on why you have to build a dwelling. Uh, I mean, it's a three-point dwelling. It's a good dwelling. It's, it's a good, yeah. It comes it's, with a lot of free power. I like points. I like points, Andrew. Lots of free power. Guaranteed free power. Alright. I'm advancing ship and then seeing what happens. <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> oh man. I got leech. Should have gone for it. Yes, Babak, I'm I'm missing one worker and uh the odds don't look great. Um What to do when the odds don't look great? Give up? <laughs> we don't give up. Um <laughs> Delay? Where can we delay? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is uh, It is a crossroads for sure. Mike, as stated, does need two ship to connect. Has those two priests exactly. Um, I guess could get a priest town, though. <laughs> I'm still trying to do the math on how Mike's going to make this third town and still hit the ship in. I think he could just eke it out, think potentially. I, I agree. I, I think you could eke it out, but... Only assuming Lumen doesn't mess with you, which is the... A lot of meddlers here. Everybody's meddling with me. 
I mean, we had three factions that were going to advance I mean, dick this year. There was of, lots of, of a lot of stuff, right? Yep. There was a lot. I mean, there's a lot of concern in a game where there's three digging factions. Thank myself. All right, I'm going to go. Complain. <gasps> no, don't give up. It's in the name I mean, of the I don't, th th I don't think he had a choice. Up. I don't think he had a choice, yeah. I mean, if you learn one thing today, never give up. Mm, don't know about that. You're supposed to learn that in kindergarten. <laughs> and then you learn how real life works. Oh, wait. Too much? We ain't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me Santa Claus isn't real? Oh, it's a family friendly uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't tell you that. Well, this is going to be some... Uh... Potentially cheap network I'm getting here. Yeah. This Ryan's a chump and doesn't connect. I couldn't connect. You you saw to that by taking I six, Mister. Do you need <laughs> I six? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just... don't, don't blame me. Don't blame me. You took E five. I mean, that's for a town. That was necessary. Yeah, you were well, supposed well, to start on E5. Why are you at D6 like a dingus? Oh. Like, I, yeah, uh, it's not my fault. <laughs> like, what, what's up? I, I predicted Lumen starting in it right here. I, I, that's a uh, good uh, phrase. D6 like a dingus. <laughs> Six I is an upside down G, you know? Also, I love, I love Super's comment in the Twitch chat there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up last words of <laughs> General CS2376 Jr. after getting trapped as chaos on fire and ice. <laughs> that was the greatest game I've ever played. That was, that, that was like the best, that has to be the best Terramisca game I've ever played. And I think it, and I think it ended after two turns. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. I don't want to count this stuff. Just just make sure you connect and beat Lumina Network. That's all I ask. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, that does save me a worker, I think. Do I need that? Why does nobody... Why does nobody have uh, the power to block uh, Alchemist's bridge? See, I did, but then I took a priest. Oh, yeah. wow. That's a shame. Alchemists don't need a bridge, do they? Himself. Oh, they do. Awkward. Uh, yeah. We certainly do. We certainly yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it, it definitely needs a bridge, but his <laughs> next action will be take a bridge, so. It isn't pretty. I think Lumen just accepted that leech thinking he could take the bridge. Nah, I think Lumen has other uses for it. Yeah, but... I, I still haven't counted, though. See, now I can take the bridge, or just take Mike's spot on water. It's brilliant. It is pretty good, actually, yeah. I can yeah. afford another priest of water, right? Yeah, and then I'd, get bridge and I'd get bridge blocked? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think you can afford it. <laughs> good point. Is that, you know, well, I, that I, I think you have to water, Mike. See what happens. I mean, yeah, if, yeah, if if just you, call us. If you bluff. waste a point of worker dig to block me, that means I have a chance in this game, which I don't think I do, so I don't think you would. So you shouldn't block me. I but, think that's I think that's a pretty bold call. Why should he not block you? Because I don't yeah. think I, I don't think I'm in the running and you'd rather use the point to dig. You think you think it's just between him and me? Well, I, mean, I think I really it's Ryan's game and it's over, but Yeah, I mean, Ryan Ryan's already won this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we uh -huh. sure? Lu oh, because Lumen only has third on network. Uh, I think he gets another structure out, right? I get one more structure out, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have time for do math here. Yeah, this isn't good. This doesn't matter. Volts, so I'm hmm. plus 27. I guess I'm close to Ryan. That's a, like, I was going to say, like, it's not that guaranteed after at all. Just like, throwing, was... After just throwing on the... Um, I was just saying, like, I've been doing the rough estimate. I've been doing the rough yeah. estimates, and I'm like, it's close between Lumen and I. I was not sure how he was going to resolve. 
Yeah, everybody here is on Team Lumen, so you know, even if he loses, it's okay. We're we're all here for him. <laughs> yeah. Just need. I'm forever thankful yeah. for the support. Oh yeah. <laughs> Team Lumen, a subsidiary of Big Cube Incorporated. <laughs> Big Cube. Big Cube Industries. Don't have enough coins. That's not fair. Well, could have been a good game. What are you doing on fire, Mike? Heck, uh, you know, save me. Wait, and a little now bit. you're not getting network points? Network's yeah. not connecting. Like, what? Mike, what the oh, hell? Yeah, I blew it. I forgot I needed three. Oh, well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I get network. I get network now? <laughs> we all <laughs> get extra points, points right? yeah. Yeah, yeah Mike, 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 just, we all get a few more points. Yeah, Mike, it's not yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 true. Mike did yeah. Yeah, Mike just threw us all I six points up. and cost himself eighteen. I thought that yeah, I thought it was three. I thought it was only two if I go here, but it's clearly not. Yeah. Uh well that's a hilarious ending to this game. Uh it's been a while since Mike's got a fourth and that's how you get third place, now. folks. <laughs> was I getting better than fourth if I connected? I think you're beating Andrew if you connect it. I mean, you're definitely beating me. Yeah. Yeah. You're easily beating me. I think so. Oh. As Ghostly well, says, if only there was an icon coffee. to show your network. <laughs> yeah, you think I look... Well, no, I mean, it's after the move, I have to guess what the network is. Yeah, 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 correct. You did have to guess before you did it, but... Although, actually, to be fair, you didn't need to send the priest first. You could have built the dwelling and then... Yeah. Well, I got oh. power from it to save... On the coin conversion. Oh, yeah. There's a reason for the idiotic move. Yeah, I think Ryan like, has yeah. this by two or three over me just because of that past tile oh. throw. It looks Ooh, that way. Didn't get it done today. It's another game, another past tile throw. What a life <laughs> I live. It's it's partly past tile throw or partly like you say. I think I think Andrew Andrew blocking your town was pretty big. I do think you were gonna win. And then I think Andrew digging apparently actually might give the game to me, it turns out. But it's hard to know at the time right. uh, exactly where Andrew is going to wind up in comparison to all this. And He's that's just doing his works. disruptive job, yeah. Yeah. It's in the contract. I'm, when supposed to have like a, I'm supposed to have a 130, so I'm supposed to get second. Or I'm, we still get I'm comfortably above that. But... So you're, I was going to say, so you, yeah, you should like, be eight. You should be 17 more, let's say, or maybe only 16 more. Um, so and you're like, you'd be upper less. 120s and then six yeah. less for everybody else. So yeah, I think you were third if you just right. didn't do that. So, so it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a huge deal, but. Yeah, it's not like we have ELO on. Yeah, it's a that, training that's, game. That's, <laughs> that's, that's true too. This was how not to play Fjords. Luckily, I mean, luckily, luckily we didn't. We didn't run into any issues, so yeah. that part's nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, the how not to play Fjords part, I mean, that's if you look at any board oh, game yeah. arena Fjords game right now. It's a it's all lessons <laughs> yeah. on how not to play Fjords. No, I had one I had one good one and I had a dud here, but it's okay. Yeah. But nice game. Well done, uh, well done, Ryan. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. This is a good one. One town's all you need, folks. Well, except two towns is actually what it took. And if Lumen got a second town he would have won. But right. you know, a yeah, you're if yeah. Lumen didn't throw, you would have won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's new? One down, people. What's new? Uh, no, that was fun. Uh, just looking at the power action breakdowns, because I'm always curious who is getting the coins. Um, Andrew did get three coins power actions, which is pretty good. But yeah, there are so many coins in this game off the priest and cult track, which is, I think... I mean, that's how that's how I kept my economy going, and that's a lot of how Lumen kept right. his going, too. We just... Yeah, we, we both got a lot of coins out of the cults, which helped a lot, so... Am I really I also, three points on... So, yeah, yeah did I screw up the finish, though, by not beating them in the network? No, no. It's no, you it, didn't. It yeah, you gave, you gave us all six, because Lumen got 15 yeah. instead of nine. I got six instead of zero, so it didn't actually change the finish order. Right. Okay, so I don't feel bad about it. Screw yeah, it. Just, yeah, you, yeah, you didn't throw the game to anybody else. You just gave Whoa. us all more points. Mike, you did minus 23 leech. Yeah, <laughs> 
Wow. Too much to not get How many coin conversions did he do, though, is the really interesting part. So 25 yeah. minus 23 is 2, plus 122 is 124. So Mike only did 12. 12 coin conversions, yeah. Very uh, low. Did you do any game, resource but... point conversions at the end? No. Okay, yeah, 12. No. Well, one thing I found with Alchemist is that, like, after round three, I don't accept any leech. It's hard to. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you should. Yeah, I just but... don't accept yeah, it depends. But I think my, that I think is my mistake um, that cost me at the end in my time ship round, I should have just built on uh, this eastern one, stayed in the east. E10, the E10. eastern brown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, E brown. Um, one, two, three, four, five. E9. Oh, E9. Okay. Yeah, e sure. Yeah, because I went to C4 thinking I might go west, but there was nothing for me out west. I shouldn't have. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, you never did. With that, with that said, I, I do and think I your instinct. I think your instinct there is good. That is a useful hex, I think, to point out to people is that C four is yeah. can be pretty important in some matchups in order to actually be able to get to the west. Otherwise, right. you just never do. There's, there's but a I great agree. Post. You're right. You're, yeah, you're right here, Mike. That you don't need it. There's a great mm -hmm. post on Board Game Geek uh, in the I think the fourteen factions thread, but I'm not sure. Fourteen factions yeah. season three, where uh, the Jordan draws a big MS paint circle around the the connection zone between the two land masses and says, if you're <laughs> yeah. not on one of these, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, and that's yeah. more or less correct, I think. Yeah, yeah I agree. That is, a, that is a cool image. That happened, um, yep. Well, uh, does that I, fix count? My, my follow-up question for Andrew, though, so I, we kind of talked about it a little. Why did you start D6 this game? What was the plan there? Uh, I thought Luma might start at C7. Um, I don't know. Nothing really appealed to me. I kind of wanted to see where everyone else went. I knew, I knew other people would be up there. Well, I thought other people would well, be up there. So when you take D6, that really kills my dreams of C7. Because I would like to C7, yeah, C8, C8, bridge B6, A12. But, mm. you know, with giants around, like how much can I actually get away with? And I don't... I like. I want to make the... I think of it as like the ring town between C7 and E9. That's a nice place with green in the game, but yeah, it's it's not possible with you there. Live and learn. Although I still think even after D6, D3 was correct. I think that part's true. I agree. I think you were still supposed to start at D3, but. I was like, uh, well, I don't know which one is going to be correct here between E5, I3, and I6. So okay. I should go D6 and see what happens. Well, that's probably gotcha. wrong. Yep, I oh, will. Yep. Fun game. Any last words from the champion Ryan here? Uh, Not really. I mean, broadly, you know, kind of got to execute the game plan of just I settled in round one for deciding to just go Earth 1 and kind of Build economy, win cults, take water one, never worry about connection, hit some past tiles, and that plan got executed. Uh, it did pretty well, and it was just enough to win. So, yeah, it's good. All right. Uh, so, thanks everyone for watching. It was a fun time hanging out with y'all here. Appreciate the smack talk. Appreciate y'all just lurking if that's your thing. Uh, thank you, Wilhelm Wolf and Time Roller, for the follows. I turned the notifications off because I think they were going to be like mega loud with my sound settings and the Discord call and such. But um, yeah, thank you again for that. Uh, we will try to keep doing this regularly. We've had a lot of scheduling issues recently. Who knows if that continues or not, but we'll, we'll do this when we can uh, as it continues to still be popular. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, see you next time. Bye.